Chapter 15 Uzziah, son of Amaziah, began to rule over Judah in the twenty-seventh year of the reign of King Jeroboam II of Israel. He was sixteen years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem fifty-two years. His mother was Jecoliah from Jerusalem. He did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight, just as his father Amaziah had done. But he did not destroy the pagan shrines, where the people offered sacrifices and burned incense. The Lord struck the king with leprosy, which lasted until the day of his death. He lived in a house by himself. The king's son, Jotham, was put in charge of the royal palace, and he governed the people of the land. The rest of the events in Uzziah's reign and all his deeds are recorded in the book of the history of the kings of Judah. When Uzziah died, he was buried near his ancestors in the city of David. Then his son Jotham became the next king. Zechariah, son of Jeroboam II, began to rule over Israel in the 38th year of King Uzziah's reign in Judah. He reigned in Samaria six months. Zechariah did what was evil in the Lord's sight, as his ancestors had done. He refused to turn from the sins of idolatry that Jeroboam, son of Nebat, had led Israel to commit. Then Shalom, son of Jabesh, conspired against Zechariah, assassinated him in public, and became the next king. The rest of the events of Zechariah's reign are recorded in the book of the history of the kings of Israel. So the Lord's message to Jehu came true. Your descendants will be kings of Israel down to the fourth generation. Shalom, son of Jabesh, began to rule over Israel in the 39th year of King Uzziah's reign in Judah. Shalom reigned in Samaria only one month. Then Menechem, son of Gadai, went to Samaria from Tirzah and assassinated him, and he became the next king. The rest of the events in Shalom's reign, including his conspiracy, are recorded in the book of the history of the kings of Israel. At that time, Menachem destroyed the town of Tapua and all the surrounding countryside as far as Tirzah because its citizens refused to surrender the town. He killed the entire population and ripped open the pregnant women. Menachem, son of Gadai, began to rule over Israel in the 39th year of King Uzziah's reign in Judah. He reigned in Samaria ten years. But Menachem did what was evil in the Lord's sight. During his entire reign, he refused to turn from the sins of idolatry that Jeroboam, son of Nebat, had led Israel to commit. Then King Tiglath-Pileser of Assyria invaded the land. But Manahem paid him 37 tons of silver to gain his support in tightening his grip on royal power. Manahem extorted the money from the rich of Israel, demanding that each of them pay 20 ounces of silver in the form of a special tax. So the king of Assyria turned from attacking Israel and did not stay in the land. The rest of the events of Menachem's reign and all his deeds are recorded in the book of the history of the kings of Israel. When Menachem died, his son Pekahiah became the next king. Pekahiah, son of Menachem, began to rule over Israel in the fiftieth year of King Uzziah's reign in Judah. He reigned in Samaria two years, but Pekahiah did what was evil in the Lord's sight. He refused to turn from the sins of idolatry that Jeroboam, son of Nebat, had led Israel to commit. Then Pekah, son of Remaliah, the commander of Pekahiah's army, conspired against him. With fifty men from Gilead, Pekah assassinated the king along with Argob and Arieh in the citadel of the palace at Samaria. Pekah then became the next king of Israel. The rest of the events in Pekahiah's reign and all his deeds are recorded in the book of the history of the kings of Israel. Pekah, son of Remaliah, began to rule over Israel in the 52nd year of King Uzziah's reign in Judah. He reigned in Samaria 20 years. But Pekah did what was evil in the Lord's sight. He refused to turn from the sins of idolatry that Jeroboam, son of Nebat, had led Israel to commit. During his reign, King Tiglath-Pileser of Assyria attacked Israel again, and he captured the towns of Aijon, abel beth Janoa, Kidesh, and Hazor. He also conquered the regions of Gilead, Galilee, and Naphtali, and he took the people to Assyria as captives. Then Hoshea, son of Elah, conspired against Pekah and assassinated him. He began to rule over Israel in the twentieth year of Jotham, son of Uzziah. The rest of the events in Pekah's reign and all his deeds are recorded in the book of the history of the kings of Israel. 
Jotham, son of Uzziah, began to rule over Judah in the second year of King Pekah's reign in Israel. He was 25 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem 16 years. His mother was Jerusha, the daughter of Zadok. Jotham did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight, just as his father Uzziah had done. But he did not destroy the pagan shrines, where the people offered sacrifices and burned incense. He was the one who rebuilt the upper gate of the temple of the Lord. The rest of the events in Jotham's reign and all his deeds are recorded in the book of the history of the kings of Judah. In those days the Lord began to send King Rezin of Aram and King Pekah of Israel to attack Judah. When Jotham died, he was buried with his ancestors in the city of David. Then his son Ahaz became the next king.